And remember, I have placed a link in the description down below if you'd like to acquire one of these backup camera systems for yourself or as a gift for your friend or loved one. Now there are three major advantages of this system over traditional mirror LCD dash cams. Now this system does not record, but it is meant just as a reverse system, but I will tell you what those three advantages are. First, I'll show you the contents of this kit, then we'll take it out in the car for installation, and then we'll test it out to see how well it actually works. And here's the main star of the show. This mirror is about roughly about 11 inches long, and it's about three inches in terms of the width. Now, because there is only a single portion of this that turns into a screen, they are able to fully hide it using what looks like a full regular mirror. Now, the screen is gonna come up here and the screen is about 4.3 inches in size. So it's not crazy large and it's not too small. It's just about the right size. Now, how is this mounted? Well, in the back of it, it has this little clamp system. So as you can see, all I have to do is slide this over onto our existing mirror and this is gonna grab onto it. So that is pretty clever. I normally see straps being used, but I have never seen a system like this and it should pretty hold on pretty tight. There is some quite a bit of strength on here. So let's talk about the main three advantages that this system has over a standard mirror dash cam. First off is the price. This thing is very, very affordable. But for those who don't need a dash cam and don't wanna have evidence recorded of where they've been, but they want a backup system, that is the first major advantage. And here's the second advantage of this system over traditional mirror dash cams. And that is the rear camera has been equipped with two reversing lights. So these lights will help to light up the road. I have not seen anything like this in mirror dash cams. Now the rear camera is waterproof. This is installed over the license plate and secured with the same two license plate screws. So it blends in nicely with the car. And the camera can also be aimed up or down and secured in that location to give us the best possible view when backing up. But what about the third advantage of this mirror over standard mirror dash cams? Well, this mirror will display backup guidelines. So guidelines will come up on the screen to allow us to get an idea of how far we are away from objects. Now mirror dash cams do have that option, but they will require you to connect an extra wire to the back of the car that can make the installation a little more complex. Now this mirror does have that wire, but it is optional for us to connect it. We can still display the guidelines without having to connect this extra wire. So that is a great idea. This is something I've been telling manufacturers on mirror dash cams that we need a way to turn it on or off from the mirror so we don't have to worry about connecting the cable for those who don't want to. And still on the subject of price, we don't have to buy a memory card to get this system to work, which again saves us money. Most mirror dash cam systems require us to have a memory card, otherwise you get a display on here telling you, hey, you don't have a memory card, you don't, get a, you don't have a memory card. And it gets really annoying because either you won't be able to get rid of that or it'll constantly come up and you have to constantly dismiss it. So again, that's just another way where this, I can see that has advantage over a standard dash cam mirror. But well, back to the reversing camera. After I have mounted this to the license plate frame of my car, I'm gonna use the cable that I showed you earlier to connect this all the way up to the mirror. Now this cable is massively long. I typically don't see cables this long. This is 10 meters long. So it's approximately 30 feet in length. So that is more than enough for all cars, I think. And here is the power adapter. This is gonna be driven by a cigarette lighter adapter. So it doesn't require us to mess with the fuse box of our car. Now, if we do decide to mess with the fuse box of the car, <laughs> they did include this hardwire kit so we can connect it permanently to the car. And they also include these little clips which allow us to tap into the wiring of the car and a couple of zip ties. And these are only gonna be used if you decide to get adventurous and connect the green wire. Now they also included this installation tool, which I think is great. It always makes installation very easy because it allows us to push the wire into the trim of the car very, very easy and eliminates the need to remove panels, making installation a breeze. And they include this little microfiber cloth to clean the mirror. And lastly, 
they include this extended warranty so normally you only get one year but if you register this you will get two year warranty so that's pretty cool let's move over to the car so we can see how well it actually works and if you're curious to see how the camera looks like from the outside i have mounted it right here on the license plate but it could also be installed right here now the wire travels up into uh this is a little reversing light for the car so i just fed the wire through there towards the inside of the car now this is going to vary from car to car on how you make that wire going to the inside of the trunk so people actually drill holes i don't i always like to use an existing space where i can squish the cable and make installation easier for me and here's the Viclisus VT1 HD mirror backup system. As you can see, the screen is located towards the left hand side of the screen and the camera is a full 1080 high definition screen. Now we can have the camera off and we can just bring it on whenever we want by pressing the power button or the mirror can remember the settings. So if I leave it on, when I turn the car off and I turn the car back on, the screen will always turn off. So that is good that they included that option for those who want to have that screen off at night. You can certainly control it that way. Now, as you can see, there are reversing guidelines right here, and those are very helpful. I'm going to put the car in reverse because we can see that we can follow those guidelines to help us not hit the sidewalk. And as we get closer to vehicles, we can gauge the distance we are how far we are away from it. So let's imagine this fire hydrant right here. If it was a car behind me, as I'm getting close to the green, that's probably where I want to slow down. Yellow, okay, I'm getting very close. Red, I better stop or I'm about to hit the car behind me. So that's how those reversing guidelines can be used. But what if you wanted to adjust the brightness of the screen? You can press the mode button and that's gonna cycle through several presets. Right now it's on standard, vivid, light, and soft. soft soft has been so far my favorite and standard also gives it a little bit more punch if you're in a very bright area and you want that extra brightness however if you want to control those settings manually you can by pressing the menu button and you can change the brightness you can change the contrast and you can change the saturation of the picture so for those adventurers who want to connect that extra green wire to the reversing tail lights of the car this is what it does notice that there are no reversing guidelines shown they're only gonna come up when I put the car in reverse. So let's see that. Here we go. <laughs> and they're here. And they work in the same way as the ones before. We can simply follow them to help us guide us along the way. Now there is one advantage to connecting that green wire. I think uh, having the, the, the green lights come on and off, I mean, it's nice, but they don't really get in the way. So I don't really see a need to connect that wire just to make an on and off but it does have this advantage, which is this. If I press the menu button, we can adjust the style of the lines. So notice how they got wider. Now they got even wider and taller and they got really stretched out. Now, why would you wanna mess with the style of the grid lines? Well, depending on your car type, there are some odd car, car sizes out there. <laughs> you can adjust the guidelines so they better represent how close you are away from things. Now, if you can still do it with the static lines, you just have to go back to the actual camera and tilt it and adjust it so it lines up correctly with the sidewalk. So it has that advantage. It's not super, super needed, but I mean, if you wanna do it, you can certainly do so. And here's another cool feature that I found. What if I wanna place the camera in the front of the car? Or what if I wanna place the camera lower in the car upside down? It will look upside down here in my, in my mirror I can change the orientation by going to the menu and clicking the rotate. Notice how it's upside down. If my camera was upside down, this would have corrected the image. If I have placed the camera in the front, now I have flipped the image, so now it will look correctly if it's placed in the front of the car. So that is pretty cool that they gave us the flexibility to change the orientation of how it's displayed here based on where we install the, car, the camera in the car. And here's what the VT1 backup system looks like at night. One of the cool things I like is how the buttons are backlit. But back to the camera, we have good enough visibility and we can see that some of the light is being provided by the back of lights of the car, but there is additional light that you can see in here being provided by the two LEDs that I showed you, showed you earlier that are mounted on the reversing camera. So we can still see at night and have enough uh, visibility for us to back up safely. And that was the Viclisus VT1 HD reversing camera system. 
If you guys have any more questions regarding this camera system or how it works or how it was installed, please put that in the comments down below. And if you found any part of this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button to support the channel. And remember, I placed a link in the description down below if you want to look at this camera further. And I have a lot more cool gadgets coming up, including dash cam, reversing cameras, and other neat things for your car. So if those are the kind of things you like, make sure you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.